I want you all to listen very carefully. I want you to tell me how things work, how they come to be. Is it really just as simple as one, two, three? R O C K I T. Rocket's Pocket is the place to be. R O C K. IT, if you've got a pocket, then come with me! Hippity hoppity toppity tea, there's only one rocket with a pocket, that's me! <laughs> Whoopee! Hippity hoppity hoo, how'd you diddly do? How'd you diddly do? Hello everyone, have you got your rocket pockets? Yes, we've got our rocket pockets! Yippity dippity, then let's ring Rolly's doorbell! Ooh, what's that sound? <laughs> Let's ring Rolly's doorbell again. Ding. I wonder what that sound can be. Let's go and find out. <laughs> Ooh, I've just bounced on something. Something that's white. Ooh. What sort of things are white? Snow is white. Yes, it is. Snow is white. But this isn't snow. It's too hard. A piece of paper can be white. No, this isn't a piece of paper. It's small and round. The moon can sometimes be round. Ooh, I wonder if this is a piece of the moon. Yes, it is. Yes. It must have fallen off the moon. <laughs> We're going to go and find the moon so we can put this piece of moon back where it belongs. Moon, oh, moonity moon, where are you? Sometimes you can see the moon in the sky. Let's see. Is it high up in the sky? Maybe if we jump up high, we'll see the moon. Wibbly wobbly tobbly tee, come on everyone, jump with me. Wibbly wobbly tobbly tee, come on everyone, jump with me. No, I can't see the moon even when I jump up high. If the moon is out of sight, maybe you'll see it better at night. Um, sometimes you can't see the moon when it's daytime. Let's take a look in Rolly's big book. Yes, it is. Yes. Let's take a look in Rolly's big book. When you take a look inside the big book, who knows what you might see? When you take a look inside the big book, it's fun as fun can be. With lots of things to learn and do, we'll find out, me and you. <laughs> Come on, everyone. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Ooh, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Sometimes you can't see the moon when it's daytime. 
the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped in a five pound note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh, pussy, my love, what a beautiful pussy you are, you are, what a beautiful pussy you are. Pussy said to the owl, You elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Oh, let us be married, too long we have tarried, but what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day to the land where the bong tree grows. And there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose, his nose, with a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring? said the piggy. I will. So they took it away and were married next day by the turkey who lived on the hill. They dined on mince and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon. And hand in hand, on the edge of the sand, they danced by the light of the moon, the moon. They danced by the light of the moon. Sometimes you can't see the moon when it's daytime. If the moon is out of sight, maybe you'll see it better at night. That's why we can't see the moon. Ten. Ooh. There's a man with a big helmet on his head over there. He's an astronaut, Rocket. Nine. Yes, it is, yes. He's an astronaut. And he's counting. Eight. Backwards. Seven. Eleventy-three! Eleventy-three? I mean, uh, six. Hey, who are you? I'm a rockety blue tree frog who wants to fly to the moon. Well, you're in the right place then. Five. Four. How does he do that? Three. That's easy when you know how. Can I say blast off? Please, if he please! Of course you can, Rockety Blue Tree Frog. Two. One. Go on, say it. Oh, uh, blast off! Hold on, a roly mo. We've heard that sound before. The sound Rolly's doorbell made. And it's the sound of the spaceship taking off. Now then, why would a young rockety blue tree frog like you want to fly to the moon? Because we found a piece of the moon and we want to put it back where it belongs. You found a piece of the moon? Yes, it is. Yes, we did. Here it is. It's white and it's round and it's hard. Hmm. Well, it does look as though it could have come from the moon. Where did you find it? On Roly's floor in his hallway. Oh, no. I forgot to show it to Roly before we went to look in the big book. Oh, dear. Roly really would have liked to have seen a piece of the moon. Why don't you sit back and relax, Rockety Blue Tree Frog? It takes a long, long time to fly to the moon. It does. <laughs> oh, dear. Only that's my tummy rumbling, and I was rather hoping we'd be back in time for tea. Roly makes a very good moonbeam pie. Does he now? Yes, it is. Yes, he does. <coughs> oh, no. I dropped the piece of moon and it's broken in half. Now I've got two pieces of moon to put back. And my tummy's still rumbling. Oh, and we might not be back in time for tea. And I forgot to show Roly the piece of moon. Oh, dear. I've got an idea, Rockety Blue Tree Frog. Why don't I take one of your pieces of moon to see if I can put it back where it belongs? You can take the other piece of the moon to show Roly Moe. And you'll be back in time for tea. Oh, really? 
Would you do that for me, Mr. Astronaut? I certainly would, Rockety Blue Tree Frog. Yippity dippity! Yippity dippity, Rocket! Thank you, Big Book. We've taken a look and now we can see how we can be home in time for tea! <laughs> <laughs> Rolly! Rolly! Ah, there you are, Rocket. Wherever have you been? We've been halfway to the moon, and I've got something to show you. Ta-da! Look at this. Goodness me, Rocket. Wherever did you find that? I found it on the floor in your hallway. It's a piece of the moon, Rolly. Ooh, is it now? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Oh no! I've dropped it again. Now I've got two more pieces of the moon to put back. Oh! Oh! And it's made a white mark on the floor, too. Uh, sorry, Rowley. That's all right, Rocket. Uh, uh, could I borrow one of those pieces? Of course you can, Rowley. Uh, but what are you going to do with it? I'm going to write something on my blackboard with it. Rowley? Boom! This isn't a piece of moon, is it? No, Rocket, it isn't. It's a piece of chalk, isn't it? Yes, Rocket, it is. And do you know, I'm very glad you found it for me. I've been waiting all day to write something on my blackboard. Boom! You have? Yes, Rocket. And do you know what I'm going to write? No, I don't. Moonbeam pie for tea. That's what you're writing on the blackboard with my piece of the moon, Rolly. Yippity dippity! Moonbeam pie for tea. <laughs> yep. Rolly, can I have one of the pieces of chalk to put in my rocket pocket? Of course you can, Rocket. <laughs> And maybe you can see if you can find something that looks like a piece of the moon to put in your rocket pocket. But make sure you're back in time for tea! Ha <laughs> ha! It's time for Rocket and Rolly Mo to go now. Do come and find us next time, though, won't you? And don't forget to bring your rocket pocket! Ha <laughs> ha! Tippity toppity! Tippity toppity! I want you to listen carefully. I want you to tell me who a simple best friend would be. It's really just as simple as one, two, three. It's a fly old super bee. It's a blue galoo. No, it's me. R O C K I T. Oh. I want you all to listen very carefully. I want you to tell me how things work, how they come to be. Is it really just as simple as one, two, three? R O C K I T. Rocket's pocket is the place to be. R O C K. IT, if you've got a pocket, then come with me! Hippity hoppity toppity tea, there's only one rocket with a pocket, that's me! Ah -ha!